Hey guys, Joshua Godama here, and today we're filming how to build a uh, G.I. Joe movie set. I've kind of done a tutorial on this before, but actually, you're going to be watching me build a set today. We're going to be building the interrogation set for uh, Gundam Father of Peace, Episode 2, Part 4, which involves some mercenaries. So, we got a black floor, three black walls is what we'll be doing. And you make the set way bigger than you're ever going to need for the Joes, because you need to get your hands and accessories and whatever in there. And maybe someday I'll try building smaller sets, but you don't want to be animating and hit the wall. You hear that smack? Snap? That was a bad sound. Um, so you're going to need something square for things to rest against. You're going to need your poster board, which could be any color. I picked black, which doesn't look black on the camera, but it's black. Um, big sh giant sheet twice this size for a buck at the dollar store. So I picked up two sheets, sliced them in half, put the rough side up on top. That way you don't have to bother trying to match things. I've already done the bottom, which I glued down, and then that crack was it the glue break. I bumped it, but that'll be okay. And we have these pins, which I do not recommend knocking on the floor. Ugh. They're a pain to pick up because they poke you in the fingers. And you can get them at Walmart for like 300 for... Uh, $2.48 or something. That way, you can drop 200 of them on the floor and be okay. <laughs> so we're going to cover this. Hopefully, the camera keeps filming. I got to build this. I'm trying to pick a place for the camera where you can see what I'm doing. Semi. Okay. So hopefully this will work. It's a little harder to build a G.I. Joe set in front of a camera than it is to just build it on your own. So I'm going to want this end flush with this right here. Um, that's going to leave a gap back here of about this much. You can't see the camera screen, so I'm just going to hope you can see that. It's going to leave a gap of two inches in the back. And I can cut that off later, and that'll be fine. I picked the edges that are the sides that don't have any marks or anything on them because the idea is that this is to be a black room for doing interrogations in. Got my little dollar store super glue. I'm just going to put that across the bottom edge. Not the bottom of the poster board but the bottom front of the poster board. Like I said, I don't know if you could see me so I'm just going to hope. And super glue dries fast. So we want to get that on there. The poster board warps some. And so you gotta kind of hold it there a little bit. Keep it pressed in. Don't super glue your hand. Also, I recommend having a surface underneath that can have glue on it, like newspaper, cardboard, that kind of thing. Okay, so we've glued that in. We now need some pins. Oop, oh, trying to glue myself. Push the pins inside and through both parts. Now that pin didn't go in straight. Actually, you don't want them all to go in straight, but you do want them to actually be inside the stuff. Because you're trying to push it through both pieces, not just one. Make sure your back piece is straight, and you can then put your piece there. And so we will be following this invisible line all the way down, and here on the bottom, all the way. With it glued in, the poster board, which would normally like to return to its semi-warped state, is held in place. The glue bond isn't very strong because we're basically talking, you know, poster board. It's roughly paper with styrofoam inside. Feel free to put the pins in diagonally. This gives it a different hold. It also goes through different layers inside the poster board. That helps make it a little bit stronger. And these aren't the super long pins, but they'll get the job done. Because let's face it, this set will be used maybe once. May, yeah, it'll be used once. 
I generally make my pins about an inch apart, maybe two inches max. Depends on how big your set is, how well it's supported. Sometimes you're going to shoot over, and I'll show you here in a second when I do. You'll shoot under, like your pin went in diagonally, and then it came out the floor. So you just pull it back out, and you put it back in again. Some parts of this video may be just me talking as you pretend to see what I'm talking about. Now here's a good example. Down there. You can see the pin has gone through and it's too high. So we're just going to take it out, put it back in again. There, now it's in the floor. It's a nice way you can check yourself. By using a black floor, I'm hoping... The truth is, I don't know if somebody would actually have a black, black room. I don't know if they would. But I think I'm kind of going for an effect here. It's a dark scene, and the idea is, you know, that it's a dark room to try and help with the interrogation. It could be just that the lights are off, but filming and stop motion animation with limited light is a tricky thing to do because it's kind of risky. You may end up with really grainy shots and things like that, and you don't want that. So we're going to probably film it quite bright with this background. And using the background, we will also um, probably make the picture darker as it's done. I see here we've got that going through and this needs to make sure that we press it when we're pushing it in I think that's enough tutorial really for you this line will be imaginary just kind of like that line is imaginary you do it and you hope you you aim right and so you repeat that you just repeat that three times and you'll eventually have a box a self-standing box. It's not ready for a lot of abuse, but you don't really want to abuse it anyways. It's just a background for your set. And the truth is you could decorate the poster board, put doors on the poster board, you know, like print off G.I. Joe scale doors or windows and glue them on. You could use blue poster board or whatever. This is just a really good way to do your G.I. Joe stop motion animations, I think. Because, I mean, set designing is, it takes a lot of work. And how many things can you use as a background? You certainly don't want your desk as a background, unless that's what you're going for. So a poster board is a cheap way to do it. It just is. And even you could design a set with pictures and stuff, or pictures of real doors and whatnot, and print it off on a piece of paper, and then glue that to the poster board, and you know, you're good to go. So I hope this has been useful. Voice tryouts are coming out soon for this scene, so stay tuned.